What's going on guys? It is Cargo here. I'm bringing you another video and today me and Chum are going to be doing a new series. It's called Storytime. I came up with it. I know there's a lot of people that do it, but uh, I said might as well do it myself. I have some pretty good stories. So let's begin. So if you guys don't know what Storytime is, it's just it's just uh, me. I could do it solo, but I have Chum on board. Hey, Chum. And uh, so we pretty much pick a topic and we tell, like, our topic today is our most scariest thing that's ever happened to us that we can remember. Uh, so I will start off with my story. Uh, Team Deathmatch. So when I was, like, I don't really remember how old I was, honestly. I think I was, uh, Take him out. oh, my God, maybe 12. Um, I was sleeping over at my Uncle Matt's house, and, uh, you know, he was into some drugs back in the day, day. Still is, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, so we were all staying at his house, me and my mother and my father. And, uh, I was just sitting there sleeping, and then I woke up around, I'd say like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, I woke up to a shotgun to my face. It was great. I, I, I think I shit myself that night. Pretty hard. Uh, and it was all, pretty much, it was, it was a new thing to me, because I'd never actually seen a real gun in life. And, uh, so it was all pretty new to me. I didn't know what was going on or anything like that. And then, I found out the reason why... It happened is because my uncle's a big old dirtbag, and uh, he wanted uh, his friends to come in and take all the drugs so he can get away and go live off of some other fucking place. I don't even know where he went to, but it was just all like I almost died that day, and that's the reason why I picked that as my scariest story. Uh, Do you still know where he is? To uh, oh, yeah, like right now. This is the same Matt we're talking about for the Julio's. Oh, 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 oh. This is the scumbag that did this. And, uh, he's in prison right now. I've seen him once. Uh, but yeah, I almost died that day. And it was pretty fucking scary. I never felt anything more scarier. To be honest, and I thought, I thought the story was going to be wrong, but I didn't want to go full-fledged details. Uh... It's kind of like a heartfelt story to me. It's kind of like hard to like talk about it. Just because that's how my family was. And um, I don't know, I'd rather not talk about my father's side of the family just because it's horrible. But I'm gonna have Chump take it away on this one. Um, yeah. Alright, so my scary story. That I used to be. What is the, what do they call it? Accident prone? Where like, you always get fucking hurt all the uh, time? Uh, yeah, I think so. Alright, so, I used to be that all the fucking time. Like, I used to, I, I'm pretty sure at one time, I could go to the ER, and everybody was walking there, like, they really didn't have that. So, this one night, I was, it was a 4th of July party, and I was fucking around with my brother. Um... And I took his hat and I started running. And at the same time, I went in this dark spot and didn't know that there was a car frame there. And if you don't know what a car frame is, it's pretty much just a metal fucking frame that's a bitch if you hit it. <laughs> and, uh, well, my, it was right level with my knee. And it went into my knee pretty damn bar when I hauled ass into it and you know at first you know I tried to be the tough guy like oh yeah I'm fine and then once I got out into the light all you saw was a screw of dust uh, was, uh, I, I don't even know what, how, what to explain like it, there was, it was cut there was grass in it there was rocks in it there was anything you could ever imagine so my dad was like screaming at me, going, yeah, we gotta go to the ER. So we're all the way out. <laughs> the boots. 
<laughs> and I ain't even joking. It took us like at least 20 minutes to get to the hospital, going at least 90. So, you know, we, we finally get there, you know. I go in and, you know, you get your little bracelet and all that. And I went, my doctor was like, uh, so this is what happened. And what ended up happening is, uh, I ended up splitting my kneecap in half. And my, there's, this is how they explained it to me. I had a, there's a gel pack behind the knee. And I popped the gel pack behind the knee and I filled it with rocks, mud, dirt, um, I don't know. It was everything. And, uh, I ended up couldn't getting it, like, I was in the hospital I couldn't get it cleaned out. Way to tear it up, Sentinel. The day after, which was pretty nice. <laughs> and that's my story. That was, uh, a pretty scary moment in my life. I almost fucking died. Remember, kids, do not play at nighttime at a 4th of July party. Yeah. But, I thought it was going to be a longer video, but I guess it wasn't. Um, we will have a... We're probably going to do this, like, weekly. Uh, I'll open up this supply drop my lab. Yeah, we'll do this weekly. Uh, maybe it'll be, like, every Friday, hey. something like that. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, comment, like, subscribe. And, uh... We're probably going to be doing some other videos, not like this, but other Call of Duty videos pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.